Hey guys, it's Naka and Dominic. What's going on? You know what time it is. Yeah, guys, so we posted on our Instagram for you guys to ask us questions that were a bit more on the personal side. And we thought we would open up and just be honest with you guys and kind of like share a little more than we usually do. So without further question, let's get into today's video. And also my brother did go back home safe and sound. So thank you so much. I know a lot of you guys were like wondering if he got on the plane safely. He did, he's at home now. So yay, we love that for him. So what, you're holding <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first question is when will you get married? Guys, um, we have a date. The date is set. Uh, we ain't gonna tell you. No, I'm kidding. It's this. Is it the second week? Yeah, but we'll tell you like around. Uh, it's the second week of October. So be on the lookout. Is it? Yeah. Near the, okay, near near the second to the third week of yeah. October. Just be on the lookout. And let me know what kind of hairstyle would you guys like me to mm. do. Um, me and Dominic are me actually... Too. This is nice. <laughs> me and Dominic are actually not going to see each other for three days. We're going like, to do that? Yeah, we're going to do that. Just because like, when we see each other, the wedding is like fresh. I haven't seen him in a while and okay. I look good. So I thought of that. No seeing, no. We're, like, we're going to text, okay. obviously, but we won't Get see each other. Get closer before I don't see you. <laughs> And also, my friends are coming, so it's gonna be a great moment. We're gonna do a bachelor, it's be a good time. bachelor and bachelorette. Was that? No. What is it called when you go to the strip club? A uh, bachelor party. Yeah, bachelor party. But we ain't going to the strip no, club. No, it's not gonna be strip club, but <laughs> bachelorette and a bachelor party. Hmm. My girls are gonna come. We're gonna have a girls' night, do our toes, just like yeah, yeah. before we get married. Anyways, huh. I'm really excited for that. Like. Okay. Next question. Are you excited to see all of your family at your wedding? <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, yes, I am excited, but should I say the money, the fat thing? It's up to you. Yeah. You okay. Like so my brother, the one under me, I think, I think we've shown him in a vlog before, but Tajiri, he's not gonna be able to be at my wedding. And I'm like sad, obviously, because he can't make it to my wedding, but I'm extremely, extremely happy for him and the opportunity as to why he won't be there. Maybe when I see him later on this year, we'll do a video as to why he wasn't there. But like, it's a once in a lifetime thing that happened to him and he like yeah, couldn't yeah, it's, miss it's it. It's going to happen. It's going yeah. to happen at the same time as my wedding. And it, it was like a crunch time, because my parents are with him, so they wanted to support him and stuff like that, doing that, whatever he's gonna be doing. And then my parents are gonna be coming at our wedding and I didn't wanna like rush him, you know, and like, mm. just cause he's gonna be like super happy and like, you know, and stuff like that. So, and I didn't wanna like rush him and I wanted him to enjoy that event that he's gonna be doing and stuff like that. So for me, my parents are gonna come. Could be crunch, um, crunch time. For yeah, time. and I didn't, yeah, my parent too, and... so yeah but i mean my dad was like i wouldn't miss that for the world so my parents are gonna come crunch time for them but yeah so and then my brothers are gonna come my brother bulambo is going to come but he's in uni right now so and our wedding is during the week but bulambo said he's gonna come maybe he's gonna tell like his professors that my sister's getting married i can't make it to your lecture next week or something like that and then emmanuel obviously said he will come even though he's in school but you can always book time off. So they said they would come, but to me personally, like I'm not the type of girl that's like, if you don't come to my wedding, we're never yeah. gonna talk again. Like hold it against you. Yeah, like yeah. everyone got their own life. Yeah, yeah, like I'm just at the point we weren't even gonna have a wedding. We're just gonna go at the courthouse and sign papers yeah. and that's it. But like our families really wanted us to like have like something to celebrate, something to look back on, which I think like later on with our kids, like I want to show we, pictures yeah. of our wedding, right? We're so we're gonna be happy that we did it. Yeah, but yeah. our wedding is not gonna be traditional. It's gonna be like really tiny and small mm. and stuff like it's that. It's gonna be sentimental and exactly. like for fun, no stress. Yeah. 
and everyone that didn't make it to our wedding here in Mexico, we are gonna go back to Ottawa and we're gonna like Have get together party, with yeah. everyone that couldn't make it. So obviously my brother's gonna be there because his event's gonna be done by the time we go back in Ottawa, hopefully with good news to tell people. But I'm super excited to see my parents and my brothers, yes. And then Tajira as well when I see him again and I congratulate him on this life-changing event that he's doing like it's just amazing things mate and you yeah yeah i'm i'm, I'm excited dominic <laughs> is just two of them so him and his brother it's yeah. always like easy and me. Like, like my parents during winter they do come to visit as well right so like they travel winter and stuff mm -hmm. to get away for the winter mm -hmm. so i mean it's not been as long that i have seen them yeah. since you have and my yeah. brother came i think you guys saw like the video that we did he mm -hmm. came as well too so me it hasn't been as much of a time but yeah definitely excited to mm -hmm. see my family and like I won't have a lot of family that will be there yeah. just because it's, it's a destination and like a lot of things are going on in like their lives and stuff. Yeah. But like Naka said, like once we do go back to visit, we're gonna kind of do like a get together so everyone that couldn't have made it. And also like it's in October, right? So like it's gonna be cold when we go visit. A lot of people that come to Mexico during winter, they come like in November, December, December yeah. stuff like that, right? And I do have some family coming around that time. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell them like, if they can't make it to the wedding, then it's no problem. Like mm -hmm. whenever you do decide to come or if you do come mm -hmm. in the city, then just come say hi and we're gonna go out for like a little restaurant yeah. or something have a good time and so. for a wedding like if you're having a wedding and people can't make it don't be mean like don't mm. hold grudges like people have lives and i understand that like me personally i do also rather have a small wedding mm -hmm. you know like there's less stress going on you can like you don't need to take care of as many things and like it's more intimate and stuff like that and then like that intimate part can be done just very small and then you know like have a get together later on more mm -hmm. of like a celebration party type thing you know guys so. there's only 20 people coming to our wedding so it's yeah, small probably, mate probably less than that Le yeah. no it's 20 i counted it yeah okay. 20. Our, yeah we have a little list yeah so and we didn't even send out invitations there's no oh my god my best our friend is my text my best friend <laughs> messaged me she's like uh, i'm so excited to come to your wedding she's like okay i'm gonna wait for your invitation and then i can plan i was like sis the invitation is me messaging you on instagram like this is your uh, invitation if, if we told you the date that's the invitation that literally and we're like, yo the wedding's on this date that's, that's basically the invitation. the invitation she was like i'm waiting for the invitation like she's like do you yeah. have any like color coordination yo someone asked I me was, that too what? i was like girl my and mom was like, how about like, like, like the grooms people, are they gonna like, are you gonna tell them no what color? I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, about that, we'll see. <laughs> May, it's like, it's not even gonna be like a wedding It's gonna wedding. be fun though, yeah. like, that's what's gonna make it so fun is that like, we, it's gonna it's be different. Relaxed. And it's gonna be like, yeah. it's gonna be us. And like yeah. us, we are different. Mm -hmm. And like, we don't go by the trends and we don't go by the regular general mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? So it's, it's gonna be our yeah. wedding. And it's, like, gonna it's gonna be, be like, awesome. no judgment, no pressure, just mm. people coming together, loving and just you know like happy like you guys are gonna see all my friends i have different friends from different religion like different backgrounds like it's just we're all gonna be blended and it's gonna be beautiful and that's what weddings uh, it's all about no one's trying to impress anything i told my friend go to walmart pick out a dress <laughs> like we're not this isn't it, like uh, some red carpet thing yeah. just come literally regular you can even come in jeans like no one's gonna be judging anyone and i hope you guys that when you watch our wedding video Please like be kind to our family and friends because they mean a lot to us. No negativity. You will be blocked if you come for our people. Hmm. I don't play around when it comes to family, friends. Like, hmm. no, no, no. Next question is: Will you vlog your wedding? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, whether put on YouTube or not, we definitely vlog it. Even if we yeah. wouldn't put on YouTube, just for like personal memories and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, We're actually looking yeah. for a videographer. I was gonna put stories out on Instagram about like if anyone knows anyone in the area that can you know professional photographer and videographer mm -hmm. that's how you say it videographer if it's not um, it is in puerto vallarta and pv i never know how to say so it. i'm gonna post a story if you know let us know in anyone the comments in or PV, dm us yeah let us know but, but yeah. yeah other so, than yeah, that if we can't find anyone best believe my brothers are gonna be out there with the cameras <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna with set the it on the tripod the, I, yeah <laughs> We'll put it on a tripod. We'll have two versions, a yeah. live one on the tripod and then actually film a professional one if we find someone. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure we will. Would though. that be a good idea if we have like a, a live one and then do the video? You think people are going to watch it? Let us know if you'd actually watch that. Do like I don't a know. bootleg live version. <laughs> 
Well, because like a lot of people ask, a lot of really? people ask, like yeah, because like a lot of people what a lot of people ask about like you know being invited and stuff like that. The only way we could really invite everyone would be like a live video. You know okay. what I mean? So like everyone's included. But yeah, let us know. The internet is gonna be very bootleg made, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <that's true. laughs> Anyways, next question. Okay, last but not least, where did you work when you first met? So, fun question. Yeah, I'm looking like this, and, and this is about to slap me in the yeah. face. Yeah, <laughs> so for me, guys, I was really messy. I worked at a lot of places, but... Um, Tell them the story about the mall. What you get yeah, messy. so um, before we met, like this was when me and Dominic had like 50 thousand subscribers i think we weren't even big or anything under on youtube for sure. under yeah. under 100k i used to work at a glasses store like um in the mall in the mall yeah, yeah like at a, a glasses store i forget the term what it's called yeah just like yeah. a glasses store where the, a store where they you sell do glasses eye or like exams a optometrist or yeah or something like that yeah but anyways um i was a girl that sold glasses so um doing that I remember like I was at work one time and I was just chilling and so many people would recognize me you guys yeah. like I was like be oh walking, my walk god back and then walk again yeah so you told me a story that you went to get some food and like someone was following you literally they were like following me I would get food the person was like oh my god I watch I love your videos they would give me free food and we weren't even big so I wasn't used to it the first time it happened to me I was like oh my god like what's she, going I, I on? get a text Oh, someone OMG, recognized. someone just recognized me. I got another job somewhere else, which was more low key. No one could find me because you couldn't come there. At the government. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, I worked, uh, I was a sales manager at a dealership. I uh, worked at a dealership and I did real estate as well. So those are like the two. Yeah, guess, Dominic like, was so. Of big jobs. Ooh, I remember but, like. This one time, like, um, when I went to see him at his job, he's in the little office, and I was like, hey. I <laughs> yeah. came to give him, like, a paper, oh, because uh, for my job, whatever. Oh, yeah. I needed, a what did I need? Or something. You need? I a needed printer, a document. Yeah. I had a printer at my house, but I wanted to see Dominic. This was like, you know when you first start dating, it's like mm. any excuse to go see your mate. So I was like, hey, can I come into your office and print this off? And I'll bring <laughs> you, like, you know, my mom drove me to his office. I brought him, like, coffee and stuff. And I was mm. like, hey, sexy daddy. Okay. Not knowing I'd be his future wife. Okay, sexy fiance. All right, <laughs> means. Yeah. yeah, and like that was basically like the job where like I was basically gonna do for like the rest of my life till I retire. I liked it, you know. It was mm -hmm. I went to school in business related to automotive, so it yeah. it was good. It was good times, you know. I liked being a, a sales manager, and I loved the automotive industry, you know. So it it, it was good. I loved it, and it was what I wanted to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually realize how much stress it was causing me Very, because yeah. you work long, long hours in a dealership, right? And like just my schedule was extremely stressful that like after yeah. i left i realized how stressed i was yeah there's also a story time for another day about how like you dominic would work from eight and he would come uh, home at midnight and then we would still record videos well, it was long too because it was like you, you like if the dealership closes if those clients you you can't leave until the client leaves you know mm -hmm. like if you're closing a deal there's financing to go through and stuff like that you gotta wait till everything's done and like hmm. i remember like there was and there was also one story, maybe we'll talk about another day, where like there was, I did have a stalker. Oh my god, you that guys. Was, that was an <gasps> intense story. We almost had to call the FBI to get this person investigated. I, I was looking up like restraining orders and stuff like that. Yeah, it was, it was too but, much, mate. Like, let us know if you want to hear that story time because that's uh, yeah. it's too long for this video, it guys. But much. it was not a good time. And then but. for me, for the government, I liked working in the government. Where I worked, it was too much math for me, mates. I would go home mm. with headaches math count like too much needs so my goal was to go work in immigration because mm. i really wanted to help like immigrants and stuff like that that's really like my passion to help like like it's hard being an immigrant in a country where you don't know much so i kind of like that's where i wanted to like kind of go in until mm. now like i'm still like i really that's what i want to do so i always say that i just want to help like other people that need the help especially like immigrants or like people that want a better life kind of thing because i have family in congo and i know what it's like to have people depending on you so that's like the route i was going in so it's still something that i'm working into it and i'm later in the future i'll put my 100 percent into it mm -hmm. but right now i'm just more focusing in that aspect with like family members and stuff like that so yeah 
that is everything. Hmm. Those were all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you guys so much for literally asking questions. Me and Dominic try our, our best to kind of like be transparent and just show you guys that life does happen. Focus on yourself, focus on bettering yourself and thank you guys so much for watching this video. You're amazing comments guys. Hopefully you have an amazing, beautiful day. We love you and we'll see you in our next video smash like button come subscribe thanks for your questions talk Bye. to you soon